Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and let's play a game. Today we are playing Meteos, which is, you know, I don't say this super often in my intros, but for people joining the channel, the whole premise of the series is we're playing through a book called A Thousand One Video Games Just Play Before You Die, and I have to shut up now to read this intro. It was a dark time, the existence of all planets was threatened by one, the evil planet Meteo, a stream of phantasmagoric matter flowed endlessly from the planet. This matter called Meteos crushed life and stole the sparkle of the universe. World after world fell. But then, by chance, three Meteos of the same type of line fusing together and ignited, firing the other Meteos into space. A defense strategy formed. The civilizations of each planet launched counterattacks by fusing meteos in different ways um okay I'm, I'm like getting ahead of the scroll and reading too fast thus the last desperate stand versus meteo began the Mitimo Ark, a warship made of Meteos ore, set off as a bastion of hope with the fate of the entire universe resting on a lone civilization's valor this is basically a backstory for what is essentially Tetris or Dr. Mario. <laughs> Imagine Tetris had a backstory. What would that backstory be? It would be something about like Russian czars or something like that because it's, you know, uh, Tetris has that sort of like Russian angle to it. But uh, anyway, yes, uh, we are playing through a book called A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. This is video game like 780 something. Something, something. Um, anyway, so we have to line up things, and then they will cause things to fire off into space. All right, I kind of... I, I, I think I get it enough to actually try it. So we'll give it a shot here. The menu system feels like Super Smash Brothers, honestly. Like, it feels like very amped up for, again, what is basically just a puzzle game. Star Strip. Woo. Uh, time War... Reminds me of, like, strip poker. It's like you can play normal or you can play star strip. Kind of a weird game to play solo. You just gradually lose and get naked all by yourself. Um, I guess it's more fun when it's multiplayer. Um, all right. So the rule stock. This really does feel Smash Brothers-ish stock. Interesting. All right, we'll just go whatever. Um, so there are actually different races, which is interesting. Well, these guys live on a dog bone. This watery planet is mostly covered in seas that teem with life. Oleans are highly advanced and peaceful. Wild planet has a thin atmosphere, making life harsh. Anas... Oops. What was that? Anasathians? Anasazians can go for days, subsiding on a tiny bit of water. Either Earth... Okay, these are just random aliens. They don't have to make a difference. Oh, these guys live on fire. I wonder if a planet could actually grow into a dog bone. I feel like the gravity would always collapse it into a sphere. That's why planets are spheres. But anyway, maybe there's a weird gravitational thing going on. Um, for the dog bone planet. Who knows? Um, okay, so... We have to align things like that. And then... Um, uh oh, this is happening all too fast. I can't think this fast game. Like, we could align these. That does a thing, right? Oh, but now we have to align more. Okay, align that. Here, take that. And then take this. All right, off it goes. Okay, so you if you see an easy alignment on the bottom, you want to wait until there's something that you can align on the top. Um, or four at a time seems to go pretty easily. Um, okay, we still need something here. Mm, let's see. This one could do it. Oh, here we go. We'll do that. We'll do that. That didn't do shit. <laughs> okay, I'm bad at this. Jay? Bad at games? What you say? Go on, something go up! Stop coming back down! There we go, get out of here! Go off into space, or something. Whatever it is you're supposed to do. 
Um, maybe there's a glowy one down there. What do the glowy ones do? Okay, that one didn't work out all that well. Hey, can we just do a line of three? Oh, we can! Okay, we can do vertical lines if we just need to, like, you know, get some space going here. I think this will be like a... whoops. This will be like a, an L. This is gonna take off like a mofo. Um, okay, what if I do this? And then... I had no follow-up for that, did I? Thought I did. It is shockingly hard to find... things that are gonna work here. Um... Oh crap, I thought I'd follow up for this too. Look, there's three... of these. Go, 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 go! Uh-oh. Yeah, I got an idea. Oh, we're about to die in this corner. Oh, no! Okay, that shot some stuff off the screen. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! And... then I don't know. Oh my god, this is too much! My poor brain. It wasn't meant to do this many calculations at once. I don't think it can do this many calculations at once. Get out of here! Launch this thing out of here. Oh, I think something just automatically launched itself. I didn't do that. Let's do that. And... This? There we go. Oh, that didn't work. I like how they- you, get, you can get to the top and it still gives you like a little bit of leeway. We survived by three minutes, which is terrible. We got annihilated. Well, one civilization got wiped out in our... on our watch. It's probably pretty bad, right? Alright, we were playing on low difficulty, by the way, and... There's a computer opponent? Wait. Enter a computer. Oh, we could battle a computer. Let's take on the whole universe and see what happens. Four-player action! Okay. So, here's how we do it. Oh, I didn't even- oh, okay. Didn't even see that! I was trying to do something totally different, but that worked out. It was advantageous enough. Um, okay. Bring this down, bring this down, and BOOM SHAKALAKA! That didn't do anything, did it? Okay, well that at least launched something. Off you go. Um, one of these jerks are launching all sorts of stuff against us. So I guess it doesn't really matter to launch anything up into space if you don't have, like, an, a plan for, like, where it's actually gonna go. Like, if you can't get it high enough, there's almost n literally no point in launching it. Did somebody die? Am I getting punished here? What, what was that? A random dude showed up and caused me some pain. Oh, here we go. Get up there! Get up there! Keep launching shit upwards. I don't know. How does this work? Oh, three lightnings. Does that do something? Boom! Didn't do crap. Useless. Um, I, like, can't see, like, three things in a row fast enough. Hold on. Got this one, and then I think I'm screwed. Definitely screwed. Am I the first to die? Do we have to just sit here and watch the computers fight now? Oh no, good, it lets us quit. Okay, so we got 9,000 points. Every computer broke 20,000 minimum. So we did horrible. I was on low difficulty. I'm going back. What else we got here? Tutor. Play until you fail. We've seen that. Defeat the planet Meteo. I'm gonna go for like the lowest difficulty here. And I will take the most basic route. I'm gonna switch my home planet though. I like the... F okay, so... This basically shows you like how much power I think you get out of the different stuff. Let's go for the water guys. Oops. And start. Off we go. Alright. Look at their ship. It kind of looks like a dinosaur flying through space. Looks semi-mechanical, semi-organic. 
Planet of Geolite. Okay, we're good. The pinks suck for us, but everything else we're good, good with. So remember that, folks. Don't screw this one up for me. For the love of God, if you guys screw this one up for me, I will murder you. Uh, okay, I'm kind of waiting until something good appears. This is the strategy in this game. You bide your time. It looks like you're slowly failing. And technically you may be. But eventually... Can you... What am I doing if I press L and R? What does that actually do? Nothing. Okay, all part of the plan. You see that? Yeah, that's also gonna do a thing. Launching noxious fumes and gases. And off you go. And off you go. None of that did anything. There we go. And then that. Oh, there you go. See, it looked like I was doing nothing. You guys have no faith. Never believe in me. Admittedly, I... Oh, we won. Victory! <laughs> I don't know what the L and the R actually do. There's an L and R in the bottom right corner of the screen. Megadom. I don't know what the L and the R do. Guess we'll figure it out. Or probably not. Oh, okay, so now the orange and greens are no good. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm gonna do my strategy of kind of waiting. Yeah, like when you do... Oh, it speeds up time! Oh, shoot, I did, wasn't even paying attention. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, look at all this stuff. Oh, God. Alright, let's launch- let's just start launching stuff. Go! Get out of here! Um... Spring up purple. Oh! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> yes! We rule. All right, Planet Forte looks like it's seen better days. It's just like a tattered husk of rock and molten rock. What do you call melted rock? It's just—it's still rock, right? And by the way, rock is the only good one here. Oh, don't even go for white, orange all the way. Okay, so let's accelerate some time here and see what we get. This is sort of like Candy Crush. Only you have this fantasy of, like, protecting the universe, sort of, from... I don't know what you're protecting it from, necessarily. Entropy. Whee! Here's a fun one. Whoa! That one just sh <laughs> That one just sailed into the sky! Okay, so it, it is always better to send off, like, little individual rockets. They just, like... They get it done. I care a little one like that. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Oh shit. What do I do here? What do I do? Come on. Oh god, that was so close. Yo. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Get out of here. Okay. Well, that one doesn't do anything. Hold on. There we go. Go. Go, go, gadget, something! Go! Go! Oh, shoot! Oh, God, there's not enough to do this. Go! Oh, here we go. Boom! Boom! Why is this planet not... done? Oh, God, it keeps sending crap at us. Um, can't think fast enough. Oh, there we go. Uh, that didn't do anything. Boom. Oh, we're about to die here. I don't think I can take care of two columns at once. Oh, something saved me. What was it? Okay, let's bring these up. Get out of here. Bring this up. We need more orange rocks? What? We, we beat the other levels so quickly. I don't know why we're struggling on this one. Game just got real all of a sudden. 
Oh god. Go! Go! Oh, that didn't launch anything. I thought it was all in one big, uh... One big thingy. Go! Oh, that didn't do anything. If you try and move too many blocks at once, it gets too heavy. That's what I'm learning. Oh, there we go. Let's save a bunch of stuff. Ah, oh, shit. Man, why was that one so hard? What did we not do? You lose. I guess we'll try and continue. I guess we're, we're missing stuff. We never did the tutorial. Um, okay, strip mode. I mean, I guess I'll just try and, like, actually launch some of these things. Hey, we just fired a thingy off into a thingy. Yeah, off it goes. Off you go. Ugh, it's so annoying that you can only sort of, like, uh, rotate things vertically. I, if I could swap things horizontally, too, I'd be way better at this game. I mean, the game would be way easier, too. Boom. Just gonna continue sort of firing stuff off, and eventually something will click, right? Has to. Has to. Something has to work eventually. Boom. I feel like all my efforts are totally futile. Nothing is happening. It's just not enough pieces, man. Uh, red piece? Oops. There you go. Woo! Woo, baby. Um. There we go. Clear that out. Um. There we go. Clear that out. Oh god. Just continually in a perpetual state of almost death. This is hard, man. Oh god. Get out of here. Go! Launch something into space, man! It's pathetic. Get something up there. Go! Oh, we did it. We blew up the planet. Wait, were we supposed to do that? I thought we were saving the planet. Oh, that was a hard one. This game's, re this game's getting real. Oh, look at this planet. It's half a donut hole. Wait, no, wait. It's half a donut. That's a beanstalk. Land of wood. Okay, I didn't pay attention to what colors are good, but whatever. We learned from the last one, you just gotta, like, do stuff. You cannot afford to sit back and hope it works out, because it rarely does. Yeah, up there. Okay, so doing, like, horizontals is actually like, pretty crappy. I guess, like, verticals definitely, like, clear a line almost every time. Horizontals, I don't know what the point of them is. Ooh. Because they never work out for me. Uh... God, there's no way to, like, switch. I was trying to, like, rotate. It's just the fact that you can only switch vertically is really annoying me. I did a thing? Something happened. Oh, man, these, these boosts suck. This planet's garbage, man. Even the vertical ones, like a full vertical line, like, barely does anything. I'll just send that off. Oops. I guess the idea is that eventually... Uh, I didn't even have time to switch it. Annihilation! We needed, like, another 44 points? Or we only had 44? I don't even know. Okay, so the green ones are the best? Man, everything seemed to suck on this planet, though. Like, look, that green one doesn't do shit. Nothing happened! There was, like, no point to doing that. So really, like, there's no point in doing anything till like, you have at least a handful of stuff. Jeez, we could, like, barely clear that screen. Here, send those off into space. Those actually went, that's good. Okay, 
Yeah, let's try and like line some things up here So we kind of have it ready good to go I'm gonna do prep work. How about that? Okay, so that's sort of prepared Is it here we do this let me do this There we go. I did a little bit of prep there. Uh oh, but now this is screwed. Oh Shoot, we're about to die Fuck. Try again I'll try one more time, and then we'll go do a tutorial, because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I think... Okay, so this is a gimme right here. I could swap this red one, but we don't want to do that yet. Instead, what you want to do is sort of set stuff up. Uh, as much as you can. Well, that's a good one. Because then I can get the blue ones right after. Interesting. Okay. The orange one is there. Okay, let's bring these white ones down. I mean, I guess I'll just do this. Then I'll do this. And then I'll do this. Oh, get out of here! That's pretty good. Do this, and this, and this. Get up there! <laughs> Go! Jesus! It's hard to clear stuff on this crappy planet. Like this, and then like this. Like this. Get out of here! But that's how you have to do it. You have to have to sort of like combo your way to victory. Go! Um, okay, so that one could go. Let's bring this one. Okay, and then when that one could go. So do this, this. This. Go, 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 go! Fire! Into the sky! Oh, shoot! Uh-oh, I did not plan for this. We're screwed. We're just gonna die. I can't move fast enough. Go, go! Okay, never mind. He gave it to us. Um, go... I mean, I guess it's like Tetris, where you just have to, like, see the moves. You just have to get, like, better at seeing the moves that you can do. Go, go, go! Everyone get up there! Keep going into space, boys! Launch your ass! Go! I guess maybe what one strategy could be... ...is sort of like... Ah, oh, crap, we died. Okay, here's a strategy. Launch three in a row, and then launch a single rocket up its butt to launch it into space. I'm gonna try that strategy. Let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. There's a yellow one. That's interesting. Okay, so... We gotta kinda keep our eye out for... ...big single ones that could be made here. Mm hmm. Oh man, I'm so bad at seeing the patterns. It's the problem. Okay, I think that's the thing. Then those can go up. And those? I mean, I'm not doing the, str the literal strategy that I said I should be doing. There we go. Just launch that to get out of here. Launch that. Launch that. Launch that. There's like not enough time to like properly strategize here. Go, go, go! Launch it all! Like in Star Trek, the J.J. Abrams one. Fire everything! Okay, so we can make a line here, so now we just need three. I think like my attempt to strategize is just slowing me down and making me do worse. Boom, get that baby into space, man. Oh, we won. I never even made it to my strategy. 50 points, that's all it took. Alright, we're gonna beat this game, we're on huge. These planet names are bizarre, man. The gaseous cloud planet. Alright, here we go. Let's drop a few extras here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. 
I don't know if there's anything we want to do yet, frankly. If we can do that... I guess that's the thing. Now, these seem way easier. It's like some planets... Things just shoot up into space really easily. Let's move these down. I guess we'll just do this. Oh my god, the blue ones are so good. Okay, we'll do that. Try and, like, line some things up to get them ready. Do this, and then this. This is so easy. Oh my god. Barely have to try on this one. Forget about strategy. Just do it. So if you're gonna do a single line, you might as well bring it to the bottom, I guess. If- as long as you have time. I guess the key is you don't want to let it get to a point where you don't have time. It's like a fatal flaw. You know you've screwed up. Okay, so like... That's fine, and then I could bring that down. I could do that, and then that. There we go. Oh shoot, what did I let happen over here? Oh, I'm dead. I'm just dead. Yeah, I can't... Oh! <laughs> oh, we won! Right before I died. Perfect. Alright, sec- sub- Suburbion? It's kinda cool planet, actually. The okay, purple one's where the money's at here. Sort of like a, s a dome in space. I mean, it's not sort of like, it is a dome in space. Oh god. Oh, those bounced. I didn't pay attention to the fact that it would do that. Boink. Um... I should do that. It didn't do enough. Doot, doot. Uh, I could knock that down, but what's it gonna do for us? Eh, not gonna do that either. What's it gonna do for us? Nope. Okay, I guess I'll do that. Do that. And I'll do... This and this. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Okay. Well, that just took care of itself. And here I am, busy trying to worry about this tall, tall tower that's building up. The rest of the game's just playing itself. I'm fine with. Boom. We need to actually play a video game. Just let the thing do it do its own thing. That's the thing I always found interesting about Candy Crush. I never got into that game, but I know people who played it. But sometimes you like hit a piece and it would disappear, and then all these pieces would fall down. You get like combo, combo, triple, double, double, triple, triple. And people would be like, ooh. I'm good, but I but it's like it's just random. It's just random stuff falling. I know you could say that Tetris and Dr. Mario are also just random stuff falling, but very rarely in Tetris have I ever seen a piece just happen to fall in a right way that gave you like a Tetris or something. Like it's extremely, extraordinarily rare. Oh, this this level's trying to screw us, isn't it? This one is intentionally like you think you're good. And here's a bone for you. Um, oh god, oh god. There we go. Clear that out. Clear that out. Wait, just get rid of some stuff. Fire everything! Oh, I see a line down here. I think I'm getting a little faster at spotting the, like, uh, patterny things that I'm supposed to. And that's helping with life. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Go! Go, 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 go! Boom! A 4Z. I guess a 4Z is better than a 3Z. Should try and get more 4Zs. 
know if that's the technical term. Oh god. Do something here. What? Do what though? Okay, there we go. That... That was a thing. Oh no. Bring up the greens. Oh god. Bring up the yellows. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah! yeah! We survived! We're surviving somehow. Oh, go! Fire! Oh, baby, we're barely holding on here. Oh. Go, go, go! Go, just keep everything in the air. It's like juggling. You're just desperately trying to keep it all floating in the air. Well, we stumble our way over the finish line. Victory well earned. The final blow to Meteo wasn't working. And the Metamo arc was savaged, but then deep space laser cannons fired beams from all directions. The many races united to protect the arc. Together, they destroyed the planet Meteo. Eat that planet. We death starred you. Won't be causing any more trouble now, you pesky planet. Well, that was Meteo for the Nintendo DS. Here's the credits. I'm actually not fast forwarding them. This is how quickly they play. Um, oh, I get to play over the credits. All right, I, I'll give it, I'm game. I'll give it a shot. Um, I'll dabble. But uh, yeah, this is one of the games of Book of Thousand Video Games you must play before you die. I, you know, I don't know. The, for this one, I would say like we've played so many different puzzle games and like. You know, I can admit I have, like, rose-tinted goggles for the past. I can admit I'm completely biased by retro games. So for me, it's like Tetris and Dr. Mario should definitely be in a 1001 book. I don't know how many other sort of puzzly games like this. I guess Columns, because it was Sega Genesis's attempt to take on uh, Tetris. But, like, how many more of these games, these puzzly games, really need to be in a 1001 book is, I guess, my question here. Um, because we've seen, like, a couple versions of Lumines or Lumineths or however you say it, and there's been other puzzle games like this. I feel like Tetris, you know, now that I've played all these other puzzle games, Tetris is so unique, you know, because, like, literally there are more puzzle games where it's basically bejeweled or where you just have to, like, swap two pieces and make them line up. Um, then there is Tetris. Like, Tetris stands out as very unique as far as these falling puzzle games go. So many are some kind of variation on this, like, line up two colors and they'll fly off the screen or explode or disappear or something. So, like, Meteos reminded me of other games. It certainly still is unique, you know, and especially if you are a puzzle fiend, if you love puzzle games, I would definitely recommend this one. So I'm not saying it's a badly made puzzle game. But I guess from the perspective of a non-puzzle guy, the guy for whom Tetris is a classic, Dr. Mario's fun to fight your friends in, that's about the extent of my puzzle playing preferences. Um, a game like this isn't going to draw me in. It's essentially, if you like puzzle games, you'll probably like this. If you're like me, it may just sort of seem like another generic puzzle game, so I don't know. What do you guys think here? Am I right? I certainly am not. How wrong am I? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, whatever you think about my inane ramblings, hopefully today was interesting and entertaining for you. If it was, don't forget to like the video and tune back in soon for yet another game out of the book, A Thousand One Video Games, just play before you die. Until next time, my friends, stay frosty. Don't let any planets pick on you. And otherwise, peace.